hello what's up guys welcome to the new video this is the special video this is only for those people who are the cricket lovers who love to watch the sport of cricket and there is a system in the cricket that is called the dls system so this system plays a part when there is a rain and the format of the game completely becomes different after the rain and the game is proceeded according to that calculation i will try my best to make you understand that how it is working so dls system so initially it was called the duckworth lewis system so it was invented by frank duckworth and tony lewis now according to that system when the team won let's suppose it was scoring 240 runs in 50 overs at the run rate of 4.8 runs per over and after that the team 2 comes to play and that team is making 190 runs for the loss of 4 wickets in 40 overs at the run rate of 4.75 runs per over and let's suppose the rain interrupted and there is no further play so the team will win in this case because of the high run rate but after that this system was not applicable and there were many reservations so there was a modification done in that system and the third person was included whose name was steven stern and after that the system was called duckworth lewis system it means this for the frank duckworth l for the tony lewis that is lewis and this is the stern now according to that there are the percentage of resources available to the team so what are the resources resources are based on the wickets and the overs so let's suppose there is a 50 overs game and the 10 wickets are left to any team and 50 overs are left it means that 100 percent resources are available for that team I have taken this data from the website of the ICC so this is just the brief data so you can find the complete data from the website that is from the 1 to the 50 hours left and you will find everything in detail but I am just making this to make you understand that how this system is working so from the table you can see that the resources remaining for the team to are 28.3 because you can see that when the rain interrupted the score of team 2 was 190 runs for the loss of 4 wickets and there were 10 overs left so overs left 10 and the wickets lost 4 so the resources are 28.3 available so 100 minus 28.3 equal to 71.7 percent resources are utilized for the team 2 so 240 that is for the team 1 multiplied by 71.7 so that is 172.08 so we can say that the imaginary revised target for the team 2 is 172 plus 1 so this is in the formula so this is 173 so this is the imaginary revised target for the team 2 actual target was 240 but after the rain interrupted and everything happened now the target is 173 but you can see that the team 2 made 190 runs in 40 hours for the loss of four wickets so which is more than the imaginary target of team 1 so in that case we can say that the team 2 is winner because 190 the score they made that is more than this imaginary revised target so that was the scenario one now here we have the scenario two let's suppose the team one is making 200 runs for the loss of six wickets in 38 overs and after that the rain is interrupted so the game is reduced to 45 overs and the final score for the team one will be 248 runs so how we will calculate the target for the team two so the target for the team 2 will be calculated so target equal to s into r2 divided by r1 plus 1 so what is the r1 that is the resources utilized by the team 1 and r2 is resources available for the team 2 so s is the final score of the team 1 
now first we calculate the r1 so resources utilized by the team one so when team scored 200 runs for the loss of six wickets in 38 overs at that time the team knew that there will be a 50 overs game so there were 12 overs left and there were six wickets lost so again you go to the table and see both of these values and you will find this figure 25.1 so when the players went to the dressing room and they came back to the field to play the game to resume the game and after that they knew that there will be a 45 overs game so if you put both of these values in the table so you will find 18.2 the resource is 18.2 so 25.1 minus 18.2 that is 6.9 that is equivalent to 7 so the resources utilized for the team one will be 100 minus 7 equal to 93 percent resources utilized now what will be the r2 it means the resources available for the team two so 45 overs and 10 wickets in hand when they came for the betting so at that time they have 95 percent resources available so the target will be s into r2 divided by r1 plus 1 so s that is the score 248 multiplied by r2 that is 95 and r1 we have 93 plus one this is in the formula so after the calculation you will find 254.33 so that is equivalent to 254 runs so this calculation is made with the help of the software and the software has more accuracy it is more accurate and you may find a little bit minor variation of one or two runs yes, from this one but this works almost the same way so this is how the dls system is working i hope you understand thank you for watching this video